No? Or no? Good. You, you excited to go back and play on that field again in New York? Uh, excited to go uh, on the road. Another opportunity for us as a team, man. Um, Monday night game, you know, primetime game. Uh, you know, can't wait. You know, can't wait. Just another opportunity for us to go out there and prove ourselves against another good defense. But where the game is, does it factor in for you? Not at all. No. What's it going to mean to have Jamal back? I think it means a lot to our team. Um, just his leadership, his energy. Uh, uh, you know, I know he's been battling, you know, to get back, and it's just special to, you know, have him back finally, man. I know all the things he's gone through the past couple of years, and I know I, how excited he is to go out there and play. And so um, we know he's a difference maker, um, the way he plays the game, uh, his physicalness, uh, the way he flies around. And uh, I just can't wait to see it, man. I can't wait to see the plays that he makes. What about your approach or mindset makes it so going back to New York isn't a big deal? Or last year when you played the Jets or played your former team, that was a big deal. What about your approach? Uh, just my day-to-day -day routine, you know. Um, there's really nothing about my approach. I mean, it's the, it's the reality of it. Um, obviously, the media makes things more than what they are, but it's just another football game. And for me, it's another opportunity to go out there and, again, prove myself. Uh, no matter who it is, no matter where it is, uh, it's about executing on the field. And once the snap, once the game's played, uh, none of that outside noise ever matters. And so I'm just focused on doing my job, which is being the quarterback of this team and uh, letting the writers write the stories. Yeah, I just think overall the poise, you know, talking about a, a tough road game, obviously that was two weeks ago, but um, had some some uh, new guys stepping in there and um, stepping up and making plays, but uh, it was rowdy and hostile, and uh, we, we weathered the storm. Uh, it was real loud. Uh, we were able to uh, execute, especially in clutch situations, and so, uh, you know, just learning more and more about ourselves as the weeks go on. But um, every, every game's a new test. Every, uh, every opportunity is a new opportunity. And so we got to look at it like that. And, um, you know, it was great to go on the road and do it once. But uh, we got another chance to do it. You know the Giants are going to bring pressure just based on their defensive scheme. What do you have to be more aware of this week than against other teams? Uh, you know, the, the good thing about – uh, sports and football is that they can blitz anytime they want, and that goes for any team. And so we're always antennas up for the blitz. Obviously, we know they're a very uh, aggressive defensive style. They have a, a very aggressive defensive coordinator, and they want to be an attacking defense. And uh, we like to think of ourselves the same way on offense. We like to attack. And so, um, you know, I think it'll make for a great matchup as always. They've got some great guys on their, you know, in their back end, uh, great linebackers, uh, you know, really gr great uh, guys up front that will always make it difficult for us. But again, it's about us staying connected, doing our jobs, and uh, going out there and executing. During the, uh, during the game on Sunday, you said as soon as you got the crossing the 50, that this on defense, what challenge did that present for you guys on offense as a game? Um, you know, the challenge is obviously we, we hit a bunch of uh, last year, we, we scored a lot of touchdowns from the 40, 30 yard line around that area. And we were obviously taking some shots there. So I think um, the adjustments that defensive coordinators have made is they're going to um, play back a little bit more and, and just make us continue to drive the field. And so, you know, it, it's always a challenge. There's always challenges out there and there's always adjustments that need to be made. But, um, you know, for us as an offense, we got to figure those things out in the game. And, and I think we did that, especially in the second half. But, um, you know, we'd like to do that a little bit earlier. Uh, I think that's a little bit different. You know, I think overall, I think every situation is going to be different, and every play in the NFL is a different play. So um, really it just comes down to play-to-play, to play, down to down execution. And, uh, you know, for us, we want to correct the mistakes that we had in the past, which is obviously need to be better on third downs and uh, also finishing drives. And so um, we just got to continue to work at it. Uh, still early in the season, long ways to go, and uh, we got a lot of uh, learning to do. So we just got to keep, keep uh, pressing at it, and we'll get better. There, there was a scene – I guess just where do you feel like he is right now and, and kind of trying to get him maybe more involved in things? You know, I think Jackson is in a great spot. Um, you know, if you look at when Ken Walker took off last year, you know, it was like week five or something like that. Um, you know, you, you think about our offense and the new guys that we're incorporating to the offense. Um, it's going to take some time. You know, we're learning. It's our third game, fourth game playing together. Um, so we're still figuring each other out. And it's going to take some time. You know, I don't think he needs to, you know, overthink it. Um, I don't think anyone needs to overthink it. Um, you know, he's a great player. He's a, he's a great player on this offense. He's going to make a ton of plays for us. And, um, you know, it just hasn't happened quite yet, but um, that's, that's no, nothing to worry about. We still got time to, to figure those things out, and that's what we're doing. You mentioned every play is different, but when you look at the third downs and, and the challenge that it's been, are there any trends or similarities that you're seeing game to game in that? 
I think overall it just comes down to execution. I, you know, I hate to keep you know saying that, but that's really what it is. Um, third downs, obviously the money down, got to have it situation. We practice that every single week. We've been doing that since OTA, since training camp. So we've been in those situations. Uh, you know, the past two weeks we've scored thirty something points with with you know not being that great on third downs. And so imagine where we can be if we execute better in those situations. I think that's the way we look at it. And um, you know, we're still focusing on on getting better. And uh, it's it's a uh, it's an ongoing process. You got to keep working at it. And I think I think we'll be better moving forward. Uh, man, I was so proud of Anthony because, um, you know, he's a quiet guy, you know, really not, um, you know, very outspoken. But when he gets on the field, man, you can just feel his presence. And, I mean, he's going up battling against one of the better, you know, D tackles in the league. And, um, I mean, he just he, he showed you what he can do. Um, I think Anthony's going to continue to get better. Uh, he's a guy who's continuing to work hard. You know, Coach Andy's doing a great job at preparing him, and he's doing a great job at being coachable. And so he just got to keep working at it. Uh, but I thought he had a tremendous game, and I think he's going to continue to get better. One more on New York, I guess. But anything about that time you feel like kind of prepared you for everything that happened after that? I think every part of it. You know, every part of that process um, prepared me for, you know, where I am now. And this this now is going to prepare me for something in the future. I think that's just how life works. And so uh, I was very grateful for all of my opportunities there. And, um, you know, it all it all prepared me for, you know, where I am now. You guys come back and have the bye. Are you a fan of the, of the bye week being early? Or would you, be, would you rather it be a little bit later? Shoot, man, I don't get a chance to make that decision. Uh, I just love to play football. So whenever I get a chance to go out there, I'm ready. But, um, you know, I know there's advantages and disadvantages to both. And, uh, you know, whenever they schedule it is when they schedule it. And, you know, it just is what it is, kind of. What's unique about Kyler and the way he does some of the like, toe tapping and sideline stuff for a receiver his size? Um, you know, I think the uniqueness about it is um, – he just does it over and over, and he's so consistent with it. And um, he's got some, you know, I think some of the greatest catches uh, when you talk about toe taps of anybody, you know, thinking of that one he caught against the Rams at one time. It was just, you know, amazing. And so um, he does it so consistently. He's uh, continuing to get that toe drag. And, uh, again, he plays, you know, for a guy his stature, he plays a lot bigger than what he is. And I think that's something that makes him, you know, great and makes him special. He's a tough, he's, you know, really tough dude. And, um, you know, not the biggest guy out there, but uh, he's fighting his butt off. And if that ball's in the air, I guess he's got little feet. He's, you know, he's got the ability to, you know, get those toes in and, and make those plays. What kind of, when a guy has a radius like that, what does that do for the receiver? Uh, it just gives you a lot of trust in him. You know, it just gives you that um, added trust that, you know, if I throw it in a place where only he can get it, um, nine times out of ten he'll get it. And so um, you've seen that on tape over and over. And uh, it's, it's great to have a player like that. Thank you, guys.